Hi guys, it's nearly 10 o'clock. Uh, not done a lot at all. Um, well, I say that I have been busy for the last, well, I've been busy for at least a couple of hours. Uh, yeah, Mum showed up this afternoon, that's about it. Um, Gonna loan her a bit of cash so she can go out and enjoy herself tomorrow night. Because she deserves it. I don't mind that. I feel a bit bad because I did sort of uh, go home for fuck's sake again. Kind of thing. But when she told me what it was for, yeah, I'm fine. It's good. Oh, so, what have I been doing today? I've been doing two things actually. Nearly there with the police station. And I decided to empty that tub of Lego out and uh, sort it. I have managed to sort most of it, but I was actually, for some reason, my hands were getting clumsy. So I thought I'd take an hour or so break and then go back and do a bit more before I end up. Knocking a bloody tub or something. I've already did it once. Thankfully, oh, stood on the bubble wrap. Thankfully, it was just one of those, so it was easy enough to pick up. I'm gonna want um. Where's my power cable? There it is. So I've got windows to do, which I may drag up here next. When I'm done dropping the bloody power cable. There we go. I've got those plates to do. Actually, I can clear those a lot easier. So I've got to do those plates next. Those bricks. And the other ones beside it. These are slope bricks. Get those done. Because uh, I can actually sit on the floor and do those. But those tiles and those windows, I will actually pick up off the floor and put up here. Because... They've got to be sorted into drawers up here, so they might as well go up there. And I've just got that part of a sort of junk there to deal with. In fact, oh, I forgot to do those um, grill pieces. I'll do those and those little wedges. Pardon me, a little bit of wind. A bit of windy poo tonight. Uh, you know, a few bits there as well. These things, they're useful for storage, but unless you've got fingernails, you can't always get these open because these handles don't always pop up. See? Which is why I keep something like this so I'm just... <laughs> it's not a serious issue. It's an annoyance, but I've usually got something close to hand that I can use. Even a brick separator, I'm going to use one of them. Oh, I'm spitting all over my lens. Right, what have I got there? I'm going to do those cheese wedges, cheese wedges later. Cheat for the time being and just toss this lot up there. I just want to concentrate on... Getting the piles on the floor sorted before I do any of that. That, I'll do that later as well. Some of it I'll just leave till tomorrow. There is still plenty of stuff in there to sort, but that'll be for another day, maybe tomorrow. Shut up! <laughs> Stupid bloody cat. You ever heard a cat make so much noise? Right. <laughs> I don't know. I'd be lost without him. Another tile there. Oi, 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 oi. On the plus side, sorting out all that Lego, because if you remember that was pretty much a full box, or very close to. I did say I needed some parts for that. Well, I've just found 
a handful of parts to add to that to get it a little closer to being finished. Um, in fact, with the dismantling of that building, so I can get the white tiles from it, I could finish that floor. Because um, I needed about a half a dozen or so of these. Well, I've just found more than a half a dozen. Sorting out the uh, box of Lego. This is why I like to keep my Lego sword and not keep it in a box full like that. Because I forget to, you know, have a search in there. And I've found all sorts in there. Loads of fiddly little pieces. There's still loads in because there's a few sort of half models in there to be dismantled so I can do that tomorrow. There's a load of plates and things to go away as well so but that's tomorrow's job. I'm not doing that tonight because it has just clicked 10 o'clock. It is um, the night I get paid. Must pay me phone bill. Otherwise I won't have that up the corner. Well, I will, but I won't be able to access any internet. I'm actually surprised I've not had any reminder emails yet. But haven't seen any, anyway. Um, so I think I'll go for a wander later and go and get my money out. Sometimes I don't bother. may not bother, actually. I may just leave it till the morning. I'll see how I feel in two and a half hours' time. Where's goes in at 12.30 for some reason. Sometimes it's been about half an hour to an hour later than 12.30, it's around about 1, 1 1.30, but not very often. Nine times out of ten it will be 12.30, but that varies with banks. I know mums, it takes a little longer for money to go in with mums. Or does it? I think it depends what the transaction is. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to shut the camera down. I'm going to zip to the loo. I'm going to move a couple of piles, or three of these, these three piles to the bench of Lego, that is. Not hemorrhoids, can't move hemorrhoids. Unfortunately, then that will give me a bit of room up here to sit and just get that sorted, with those plates sorted, and those bricks and whatnot sorted. Um, there's a pile of stuff here I actually kept out for the town. Uh, and those figures, and there's a drawer for those to go in, and then there's a pile of assorted stuff there I need to go through. Again, that's a job for tomorrow. Just want to get most of the brick along here sword. So I'm gonna do that and uh I'll be back. Well, for you I'll be back, you know, as quick as you can click your fingers, so see you in a few. Well that looks a lot better, doesn't it? I've just got that lot down there to do, but like I said, tomorrow's job. I've emptied some brick out of that tub it was too full and I couldn't get a lid on it so that's why I've got a tub right under the back there which I call my overflow tub basically when a box gets full anything else goes in that box over the back there uh, bench is almost cleared I've got all the tiles and everything sorted and it's only taken me an hour and 15 minutes because if you remember that just gone 10 o'clock when I last had the camera on. So yeah, that's how long it takes to sort. <laughs> Quite some time. Right. I'm just getting some things organised because I'm going to be doing a video for the LEGO channel after I've done this one. Right. Tomorrow, as I said, I'll be seeing Mum tomorrow afternoon after she's finished at work. Uh, she's going out tomorrow night. 
it's a late birthday present from my sister. Um, that's why she asked to borrow some cash, so I don't mind spunking her some cash for that. Right. As for the rest of tomorrow, it's payday, so... Excuse me. No doubt I'll take a trip to my favourite junk shop and see if I can pick up any stuff there. Some more CDs or something. PC games, computer games, console games, whatever I can find. <sighs> she usually has all sorts, hence the name of the shop. <laughs> it's like going to a car boot sale, but or a flea market, whatever you want to call it, but in a shop. That's what it's like. Um, and it's all recycled stuff, it's all stuff, um, I think she's got a contract with the local recycling centre and she picks bits up from there, I think, don't hold me to that though, but, uh, some half decent stuff comes in there. Typical, I've got a camera on now, my leg is itching like fuck. Yeah, anyway, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Um, might be going over to Mum's Saturday, because uh, someone's got to get the car boot stuff out of the shed if we do one Sunday, or we leave it this week. And I'll go over Sunday and I'll dig everything, or at least make some room, so we can get to it. Because stepdad won't do it. He's about as reliable as a chocolate fire guard sometimes, bless him. <laughs> um, anyway. Can't think of anything else. Um, not worth talking about anyway. Nothing's happened. Oh, there's a van fire um, not far outside of town. Um, an abandoned van. I had all the police aware tape on it, so the police. It just prevents people keep calling the police and saying, there's a van abandoned there. They stick their police tape on it, and then people know, the police know about it. But uh, it spontaneously combusted, it seems. Probably a deliberate fire. Either someone pissing about or by the owner to get rid of any DNA evidence, etc. But uh, the weird thing is, there's been two thefts in the area recently. One was in the village of Sutton where someone stole a garden shed. Not the contents. They emptied the contents of this garden shed. It was on an, an allotment. And they emptied the contents of the shed out onto the allotment and just took the shed. And there was another one in town where they scaled a fence and stole the... Um, you can get like lattice panels to put on top of a wooden fence panel, just like a decorative piece. And they stole 18 of those. And then all of a sudden, a few days later, an abandoned van turns up and catches fire. Coincidence? Possibly. Probably a van they put, bought for a couple of hundred pounds. Probably didn't have insurance tax or anything on it like that. No, it probably only just started and drove sort of thing. Done the theft. Dumped it. Torched it. A bit too late though. Because the police were already aware. I don't know if the police did forensics on it. They may have done. Try and trace the owner and what and whatnot. Ran the number plate, if it had number plates on it. If not, they can ID it from engine numbers, chassis numbers, etc. But yeah, that's your... 
It's just weird that they're stealing garden. It's like someone is being a real cheapskate and furnishing their whole garden by stealing bits from other people's gardens. It's ridiculous what people will steal. Oh well. Uh, um, I don't think I'll be going anywhere tomorrow actually. I'm going to have a look on the Argos website because I might, depending, take a trip to Chroma as that's the nearest Argos. <laughs> anyway, relatively short video today because not a lot going on. I've sorted Lego. Woo! Go me! Oh, and built a building. Don't you sit there looking at me like that. Oh. I would guess a lot of people know the YouTuber McJugger Nuggets. Um, first fame was the... Um, Crazy free coat videos they did back in 2012, and I always said back then that their videos, you know, I don't want to say fake because that's not nice, but um, scripted that's the better way to put it. Because I have to say, for scripted YouTube videos, all of them they were actually pretty good. I did unsubscribe towards the end because it's just come out you know that they were all fake because um, he's just done the last ever video you know the last two videos first one of the last two he shot his dad and killed him but uh, the only dead giveaway with that if you had a keen eye was the fact he was using a revolver that wasn't loaded <laughs> I know someone else I watch on YouTube noticed, you know, there was no smoke or flash from the muzzle or whatever. Um, just a bad sound effect. <laughs> but if you actually look, there's several times where the camera's pointing directly down the barrel of the gun. And you can see in the chambers that there's no bullets. At all. <laughs> that was a bit of a dead giveaway, but... You know, for, we'll say, amateur actors, they did a good job. Um, in my, woo, stood on the charge cable. I might take that off for a little bit. Yeah. I've actually had, uh, well, while I've been sorting Lego tonight, I've uh, been listening to the radio, but I couldn't do that earlier today because their transmitter went down. And it was even affecting um, their internet stream because they stream their station online as well. I don't understand how. I would have thought that would have been a separate stream, but, you know, through the computer, but never mind. Their machine went kaput and they actually had to um, pretty much shut the station down twice because so I did get it back to sort of a, a bearable <laughs> um, you know a bearable state so you can actually listen to it just and then it went again and I was listening to it tonight and I've actually just turned the volume down so technically it's still streaming but um It's still a bit hissy, but again, bearable. I don't know. Whatever they use to transmit online and through the airwaves is not a happy bunny. <laughs> Never mind. It's my favourite station. The only reason I like it, yeah, they do play a lot of older stuff, like... They only go as far back as the 1980s, but they do play modern stuff as well. But um, unlike some stations, like we've got one over here, one over here called Kiss, 
and um, they play the same set of songs, I swear, every hour. It's too, Kiss is too repetitive for me. Um, Heart took over a local station called Broadland. Um, Broadland was a good station till Heart took it over. Then I lost interest in that. In fact, Heart brought out quite a few stations and just sort of like rolled them into one large station. Um, there's BBC Radio Norfolk, which I don't like. Not because it's the BBC, but I just don't like what they play. So I sort of settled for um, North Norfolk Radio. 100% local. A good mix of music, which is what I like. Um, a lot of the uh, radio DJs are quite entertaining. I do like listening to most of them. There is no DJ on at the moment. It's just like a, what well, they call it, the easy mix. I suppose it's just an automatic playlist that plays um, songs and adverts till I think six o'clock in the morning. It is nice just to sit here and have a radio on. Sometimes I might actually throw a CD on. I know, it, well, I actually did that earlier till Mum turned up and then I'd turn it off. But, uh, I think I need to pull my CD rack a little further from the radiator and my stack of CDs. Actually, they were away from the radiator. It's just where they've got knocked, they've sort of lent that way because I can't close my curtains. Not that I ever close the curtains anyway, but. Oddly enough, during summer I do, because the sun blares in through that window and it turns this lounge into a greenhouse. So, one way to keep the lounge cooler is to close the curtains. Anyway, I'm going to call it it for this video. I had editing problems again yesterday, hence why there was no thingamajigs. Titles, that's the one. Duh. Oh, pardon me. Oh, that made the cat jump. <laughs> Poor bastard, then he jumped out of his fur. <laughs> that's the first time I've made him jump just by burping. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye. And uh, I'll talk to you all at some point tomorrow. Probably after I've been round the charity shops and whatnot and hopefully come back with a few goodies and bargains and whatnot. So I can show you those. So until the morning, bye.